Okay, so I had a few questions about how to do how to set up the student notebook, the digital student notebook. And so I just thought I would throw together a quick video. So here we are. Um, when you first open the document, this is the first page that you see and it says welcome to um, and you can't change any of this stuff. This is all set in the background, but you can um, change your class name here. Uh, maybe you might want to put your name. I don't know. You can customize that however you like. Um, and then the next thing I would do is I would put, usually when I do paper notebooks, the second page of my notebook is always the course guide and the students have to um, get this signed by a parent. So I'm going to show you how I would do that. I would go to the home button and new slide and I would choose the blank one here. And I should tell you that this document has been set up in, it, it's the size of it is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So everything on here, every page in your notebook would print out exactly as you see it on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, just like you would print anything else. Okay, and so to put this in, this, I wanna show you how to do this. I have already made my course guide into a JPEG. So, now I'm going to put this in the background. So I have this blank page and all I have to do is right click and go to format background and go to picture over here. And then I'm gonna choose for the picture source, I'm gonna press insert. And then I'm gonna go find the file. Okay, so now this is in the background for my students and parents. <laughs> Um, and so down here, this is where the students and the parents are supposed to sign it. So to do that, all I would do is I would go to the insert tab here and I would choose a text box. Whatever text you want to put in there to let them know that this is what they're supposed to do. I always make the text here a different color to stand out so that they really see it. When you're choosing fonts for things like this, you need to always choose a font that comes standard with PowerPoint that, so that when your kids open it on their computers, they are seeing it as you have tried to send it to them. In other words, I have the, these some of these really like fancy fonts that I've purchased on like Teachers Pay Teachers. And if I used that font for this, um, it would not come out the same when they open it because very likely they don't have that same font. So. Um, that's just something to think about. Okay, so I've put this text box in here for them to type their name. And I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna click on that square, that box that I just made. And I'm gonna hold down the control button. And when I do that, I get a little plus sign. And I'm just gonna click and drag another copy over here. And I'm gonna hold down shift because that keeps it lined up. And then I let go and then I, release those buttons. And so now I've made a copy of that here. And then maybe I would have them type the date too. Okay, so this is what I would now, so now that I have this kind of set up, this is the start of the notebook. I've customized it with my own class name. I've put my course guide in there. Um, and any other special documents that you want to make sure that they have right away, you can put those in here. And so I would now save this to my computer and then post this on our learner management tool. We use Edsby and we're switching this year to Canvas. So I would post it for them in some way and then they would open it up and I would use this as an opportunity to show them a few things in PowerPoint. So when the student opens up the document, this is what they would see. Um, they would have this welcome page and the first thing that they do, it says choose a notebook cover. So, and it tells them go to the home tab, click new slide and choose a design. So here is the home tab, new slide, and they can choose any of these covers. And then they would customize their title. 
And then I would also use, I would teach them how to copy and paste so they can decorate their cover. Because we, in my classroom, when we do regular notebooks, we always decorate our covers. And if I'm doing this digitally, I want to do the same. So I put in some stickers here and you can use this as a time to teach them about the insert tab here, where if you go to insert pictures, there are so many things to choose from just in their stock images, but also even their online pictures. Okay, so I would let my student Anne choose whatever she wants to decorate. I would also teach them how to insert a text box because they'll be using that quite a bit. Also, there's how to insert shapes. This is a great time to teach them about how to use a shape format. So up here, when you select an item, you go to shape format and you can over here in the arrange, you can send this to the back. Actually, I didn't want to do that. You can send it backwards once. So. Okay, so I would give them a few minutes just to play around and, and teach them how to do a couple of simple things in PowerPoint. And then on this page, what I would want to teach them is about using the draw tab. So um, let's see, if you go to the draw tab and you choose, you can choose a pen. And down here in the bottom, you can zoom in and out. And if you select something on the screen, whoops, if you select something on the screen, then you zoom into it. It's going to kind of zoom into to, to what you have selected. OK, so now I would go to the draw tab and I would teach them to use it to grab a pen and they can choose whatever color they like and literally just sign their name. And then hopefully then for homework, then they would be able to show their parent how to sign this for homework. One thing when you are teaching them about using the draw feature on here is right now I'm still in a draw mode and so I would not be able to click here and type my name. So something to teach them is on the keyboard just when you're in the draw mode and you're ready to go back and click on something just press the letter S and it's going to let you click again. So the next thing I'd probably do is maybe we would be doing notes. So I would insert, let's see, in the home page, you go to new slide and there's the right side paper, there's a left side paper, there's a summary. Um, and then there's some other things that are kind of unique to my classroom. I don't know if you would use those. You're welcome to. Um, but on the notes page, like, oops, right here. I put a place for them to put a title, so maybe they're taking notes on. And so I would have them type their notes here. And then I do have another YouTube video where I show you how to make digital worksheets. And so let me show you how you would incorporate a new worksheet in here. Um, okay, so I am going to open up. Okay, so here is a page that I made for my students that we will do with our notes. And in the YouTube, in my other YouTube video, I show you how to create digital worksheets. And it's real similar to what I've kind of shown you already in this video. 
Um, so here is one that I've made that I would want to send to them. So I would share this document again on our whatever website we have for for e-learning. And um, this is what I would teach them how to do when they open this document, because I want them to put this in their digital notebook. Um, and I wouldn't have the second page here. The second page is like the working page that I use to create the final page. So when I send it to them, there would only be one page. And so they would have to come over to the left here and make sure that this it, this box is, has a red line around it. That means that it's selected. So make sure that they have that thumbnail selected. And then they're going to just press Control C, which is to copy it. You could also right click and copy it that way if you wanted to. And then they go to their digital notebook. And um, when they come in here, they would just down here at the bottom or somewhere, I guess they could choose to put it right here if they wanted to. You want to click in between some slides and get that red line. And then this one's really important because you don't want to just press control V because control V won't work for this. So they need to right click on this. And the first one here has this little letter A with it. That's not the one you want. What the one you want is the middle one here that says keep source formatting. And that's going to paste this in here exactly how they are supposed to get it. If I went in here and just press control V, you would be missing things. <laughs> so it doesn't work. Okay. Um, and then these are, these are my color notes. Um, this is what it ends up looking like. So once I go through the whole lesson with them, this is um, an example of what like my color notes might look like. The final thing is to teach the students how to send um, their work to me so I can grade it. And what I do is really simple. I just have them take a basically a picture of their work and upload it through our, we have Edsby. So to do that, um, there's this tool called Snip, or I think it's Snip, Snip and Sketch. And you just open that up, press new, and you get this little like crosshair. And I would just, and this is, you know, something I would have to teach them at the beginning of the year, but you, they select what they want to take a picture of. And then I would teach them how to like save it and then upload it to um, their assignments through our online gradebook. Okay, so I hope that helps you with how to start this. And if you have any questions, please message me on Facebook or even here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.